All right, so basically I'm going to show this tool that shows you how to uh, basically plug in an Xbox 360 hard drive, whether it be an internal memory unit or an actual memory unit. You plug in a USB port or your hard drive from your Xbox. Um, this tool I do recommend, you know, if, if you like it, then you do support the developer and buy it from him because he gives you free updates and whatnot. Um, you can find it out there where you don't have to where you don't have to buy it and everything and the developer is aware it's out there and he said he's flattered that people have cracked it and started using it but anyway um, here is an example this is my friend's Xbox and it's been modified so that the internal memory unit has a connection over here as you see right here it's just an extension USB port and I got the hard drive sitting up here but this is showing up as the instead of the 4 gigabyte internal memory module you can plug any external hard drive into it and it'll use it as the internal memory unit instead of four gigabytes and it's able to be removed and just plugged into your computer so this right here was supposed to be dual boot but you know, somebody person I bought it from I'm not gonna say who he is now but he uh, told me that it's not his problem basically or whatever no I've installed it right but whatever anyway we can unplug this see and then now the external hard drive can just be taken off here I can plug into the computer and I can plug up any other unit if I wanted to so now I'm going to take it down here and hook it up directly into my computer as you see and now on the computer it's going to be right here yeah buddy it's going to be right up here on the computer and you won't be able to see it like if you open up your your uh, I'll explore here. I'll try and pull something up here. One second. All right. You'll notice over here, it actually doesn't show your memory unit here. It's not there because it doesn't. It's not able to read Fat X partitions. But that's where this program comes in. You just open up the program here. Let's go on into it. It's called Fat Explorer. Scroll down, you'll, set, you'll see the executable file. Double click it. It'll take a second to load up here. All right. You'll see it has an integration driver. There's lots of cool features if you do actually purchase the program. You know, like uh, the you can, you can patch the USB part of your control or your Xbox so that it can read regular USB drives or whatnot as the full size, like a well, two terabytes just in the regular USB port and it'll show up I prefer just to use the memory unit part of it so I really don't have a need for any of that but anyway if you click on devices here it'll look for the connected de devices and of course it does see that I've plugged in an Xbox 360 internal memory unit which is actually just my external drive there and you can integrate it into Windows see I just click on this and now it's gonna Look at the device here, load it. All right, it wants to know what drive layer I want to assign to it. And if I want it to be the content partition or a system cache partition, I want it to be the content partition. Content partition is where all of your files are for your games, saves, everything. I usually just choose the last drive letter, which is Y. And hit done and now you'll see there's your all your files on your your drive Looks shows up just like a regular USB drive or whatnot you can move files view the files in this situation I'm going to go here of course this is where all your games normally if there was any uh, profiles on this this particular device they would show up in here as well under con under content and then this is where I have all the games and whatnot all the the content you, you have like downloadable content and in this situation I want to copy over some files so I'm going to copy over these first three folders here let's see hold down the shift key here to select the three there. all right so now I got these three folders now I'm just going to move them over so I'm going to go down here to cut and now let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and paste it into our memory unit here. So let's hit paste. And now it's going to just move them right over just like you would any other. 
So now we're just waiting on that. And of course it goes a lot faster than transferring through FTP or whatnot. And that's what's going on. But anyway, that's how you use it when you're done and you're not transferring files or using that as a memory unit. You just go back over to your program and click on unmount. And it'll no longer be mounted as a drive letter anymore. And then when you want to, you know, of course, eject your drive, just do like you normally would. Click down here, click on this, and then eject the external USB drive. That's all there is to it. That's how you use this application. It's pretty handy, especially if you're just going to connect a drive straight to your computer in order to move files around. This really works out well. All right, thanks for watching.